The story thus far. After my big custom-built editing rig began to experience the dreaded BSOD, I began to look for a solution online. After running the built-in memory diagnostic showed no issues with memory, I began to suspect issues with the system's kernel. But after two attempts to reinstall the operating system ended in BSODs, I came to the conclusion that it was a hardware issue. And so continued the BSOD saga. Part 3. Every Possible Solution from here, the story turns into more of a list of events, trials, experiments, if you will. First, I came to the notion that perhaps the SSD had some internal failing. It was over a year old, maybe it required a firmware update that it hadn't gotten on its own. So I took it out and replaced it with an 80 gig HHD harvested from my old computer and put my SSD into my laptop's second hard drive port, and it worked fine. I tried loading the OS on the 80 gig HHD, now installed in my tower, and Okay, so maybe it was my disc. I mean, it was having issues with booting from the disc before. Was the disc damaged? Visual inspection yielded no evidence that it was, so we tried using it to install the OS on my old computer. We took the 80 gig HHD out of my new one and put it back into my old one, and it worked. So the installation disc was fine, and the hard drive was fine. This left really only one possibility, my motherboard. I put the hard drive back into my computer and tried moving the cable to a different port. Maybe it was a bad port. I mean, it could happen. Shit! Fuck! Alright, if it wasn't a bad port, maybe I needed to rethink the issue. Think in a more broader sense. I mean, maybe it was more than just the port. Maybe it was the sector. Maybe my motherboard had failed. But if that was the case, then there was really only one thing I could do. Get a new motherboard continued in part four.